his teeth and nails again. Since it's raining hard outside, I decided to introduce you to my other interest. I have plenty of interests, really. It's varied. So, I would like to introduce you to one of the cutest thing to do. It's it's about arts. And they, this one, they call it the love rocks. The love rocks because it's all rocks. See? Um, in When I started this one, I'm so so naughty that I have to pick up from parks because that's where you can get beautiful rocks like this and then when I googled to find to look for stores to find rocks like this very smooth different different shapes this is plenty uh, painted already we went to Home Depot and believe me it's from the Philippines. It is imported from the Philippines. So my husband and me have a big laugh. The Philippines imports this kind of rock for arts purposes. So I stop. Uh, I stop <laughs> being not nice. I don't pick up rocks from anywhere anymore. I buy my own. So this is how it goes. Uh, love rocks you paint something or write something quotations or names like this that's my name right Tita Nils. and when you go walk or go somewhere just leave it in conspicuous easily seen place spot leave it there and try to come back and see if somebody pick it up and sure enough, it the rock you uh, drop there is gone. So that's how it started. So if you are, if you are not at the peak of your life and you need you need some perk, and you find this one. Pretty sure you will smile or read, and if the quotation has an impact on you it helps so that's the idea of the love rocks so i show you this one this one i use as as paperweight the trouble the trouble with paper paper weights is all your all your friends will ask for one so this is the only paper weights i have the reason this is still here with me because my name is on it so I started, I have a painting coach. She's my, my hiking buddy before, and she stopped hiking, even walking she stopped. So it's only me walking over there at home. So she taught, she teach me how to do painting, rock painting. And I sit down like for two weeks up to midnight, just learning how to do it. And it's, it's so cute. Can you see that? It's just anything. Since my handwriting is not so good, the only good word I can write there is the aloha. And my name at the back. So you should put your name at the back. Yeah, you, your choice. Your, your phone number, your email, email ad, so that whoever picks up your rock and may connect or post your post the rock on facebook and look for somebody who got it and then reconnect and connect you may e end up friends how do you know if not so i have what turtle and at the back is my name and it so funny that there is an artist who made a good rock painting about cookies so i did one that looks like somebody has bite has yeah 
this was has a bite already but still looks so cute and i always put my name on it and there is a special a special paint that covers your hand uh, your your ink so that it will not easily be erased by elements if you put this outside so i always put it when was this so this was 10 20 2019 what is that yeah two years ago two years ago so and these are like cactuses can you see that these are all all rocks and i just painted the the base before i thought i cannot paint because i don't know how to paint but with dedication and love for the arts you will know how to paint so let's do this slowly and if it's easy for you to just prepare the rocks before all the rocks you have just paint it just for you to have the hand the make you comfortable of painting the rocks because sometimes you don't know if the rock will will soak up all the paints the the idea why we have to put a coating like white so that your pa your second paint will stay there not being being uh not be eaten by the rock yung, yung hindi siya sisipsipin hindi niya sisipsipin ang paint na color hirap no hirap mag english anyway you can do whatever anyway now next um the before i started getting serious i googled again what help should i need so i found a book called rock art look at that and most of that big uh, rocks there i painted already the trouble is whoever comes in the house they have to get one for their like memories uh, and then my two girls my two granddaughters they will always ask more than they need because they are giving it to their friends so that's that's what is inside you, uh, it will lead you to happy painting and they will, this book will tell you what materials to buy so that you will you will not just buy anything and everything because sometimes this the materials are expensive but you need it there are several tricks here like you you create a background by using pencil pen and a drop of alcohol there's so many things you can do in this book two and then if you go around libraries there are very simple uh, drawings that you can copy like this one look at that only two three colors the light blue the gold yellow and black and pencil pen in the middle very easy when it comes to brushes it's just very small very small brushes used for watercolor there are also bigger like this but at the, at the next next meeting when i see you again i will have all the all the kinds of brushes that you need so that you know what to buy. 
you might never know that you will be hooked into it. Imagine this, you need this one. And pencil too. It's needed. So, to, so that all your, your pencils or your pens are not everywhere, just use anything that is uh, available in your house. Do not buy. Uh, kahit mga garapon na mga dapat tinatapon or yung throw away ba sa restaurant pick it up and bring it home like this tos kitos or mm, mga bote ng palaman see I reuse uh, hindi ako nagtatapon maraming basura dito sa bahay pero ginagamit ka and then, kala natin, crayons, crayons, pwede ito sa, you can use this in your rock painting. Okay, this one. And, always have a ready towel for you. You don't, after, after you have, um, like, one hour of painting, do not wash. You don't have to wash. This can be with you, sitting beside you for one year. And it doesn't matter. Don't wash. So that's it. And then, so that all your stuff are not everywhere, look for a box like this. Or what, what can you find in the Philippines? Start the light box like this, or? The plastic cover, a big container, big bin. Do not throw it away. And put all your stuff like this here. So that, when you need it, you know where to get it. Sometimes my, my arts are just scenery from Hawaii. You can see this everywhere in the gardens. So I always put aloha there. So, next vlog, I will show you the paints. And the name of the paints, acrylic paints. So, uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you again next time. Aloha, Titanic.